Hello Pisces, Sun Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy between you and the person you're connecting with or will be connecting with. We have heart-to-heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Typically, when I get this card, this does kind of represent a level of holding back coming from someone. And it could be coming from you. It could even be coming from your person. But we'll see. We're going to focus on you first, Pisces, and then we'll jump over to your person. Just keep in mind... You might find yourself resonating more so with the person to the right of me than you do with the person to the left of me. And that's okay. Sometimes that happens. So just kind of pick and choose who you resonate more so with. How does Pisces currently view this relationship? Okay, Pisces. So we have the Wheel of Fortune. We also have the Ten of Pentacles. And then we also have the Eight of Cups. Hmm. I do want to clarify the Eight of Cups when I get back to you. But let me look at your person. How does this person currently view this relationship with Pisces? Okay. So like I said, there's a level of holding back coming from someone. And I do feel like it's coming from this person in particular. Um, we have the Knight of Cups and then we also have the Nine of Cups attached to them. But I really want to focus on you first, Pisces. And then we'll jump over to your person. Tell me more about the Eight of Cups. Ooh. Yikes. Okay. You know what's interesting is that... I feel like you're walking away from a situation that's no longer serving your highest good anymore, Pisces. Now, keep in mind, you know, what's weird about all of this is that the moment that you walk away from this entire situation that's no longer serving your highest good, it's almost in a sense where things start to like magically fall into place for you, especially with the Wheel of Fortune to the Ten of Pentacles. Um, you know, what's interesting too, Pisces, is that with the tower coming out here, typically the tower is linked to the devil. So it kind of looks like this person in particular or this entire situation in particular has been kind of holding you back um, in some way, shape or form, but it's not holding you back anymore. You're freeing yourself from a situation that's not serving your highest good anymore. Um, with the devil also being linked to the tower, you know, the devil, it, it represents toxicity. Um, so the relationship in itself could have been extremely toxic, not necessarily saying that the person you were dealing with was toxic, but the situation in itself was just toxic for you. But it's interesting because the moment that you remove yourself from this entire situation, Pisces, it's almost in a sense where things magically start to kind of fall into place here for you. I gotta be honest, I can't help but to notice this. Yeah, I can't help but to notice this. I don't necessarily feel like you're suffering over this ending here between you and this person. I really don't. I don't feel like you're suffering over this ending here between you and this person, which is kind of interesting. Um, we got the Four of Pentacles. We also have the Nine of Cups, and then we also have the Knight of Cups. I do want to look at this Four of Pentacles. It, you know what's interesting is that before you come in and initiate this ending here between you and this person, I kind of feel like this person's slightly worried that there could very well be another person involved in all this, like a third party situation, so to speak. This person might be under this impression that you're seeing somebody else possibly. I don't see them expressing all of this to you. In fact, I see them actually keeping it to themselves. With the Knight of Cups to the Nine of Cups, I kind of feel like this is them kind of portraying this image. Like, I'm fine. Everything's fine. I love you. You love me. Like, it has that feel to it. But mm, I kind of feel like, I kind of feel like this person suspects that there could be a third party situation at play here. Now, I gotta be honest, I don't feel like there is a third party situation at play. I don't feel like you're leaving this person to go run off into the sunset with Bob or Susan. I don't. I feel like you're removing yourself from this situation because it just doesn't serve your highest good anymore. But before you come in, which is kind of crazy, before you come in and actually initiate this ending here, I see this person kind of worried that this entire situation between you and them might be coming to an end. And the only thing that they can honestly think of is that, well, it just, it must be that Pisces is seeing somebody else. It just has to be that they're seeing someone else because there's just no other way around this. You know what I mean? I'm not really getting that, to be completely honest. I'm not. I don't necessarily feel like you're involved with somebody else, but they're definitely worried that there is like a third party situation going on that they have no idea of. 
But I feel like they're really trying their hardest to conceal this from you and not tell you exactly what it is that they're actually worried about. They're just choosing to kind of keep it to themselves at this point in time. They are kind of portraying this image like, oh, everything's fine over here. I'm okay. You're okay. Great. We're all okay. Um, mm, let's see how they feel. How does this person currently feel? How, did, how does this person... We have the Queen of Cups, here we go, with the Knight of Pentacles, and then we have the Tower. I gotta be honest, I feel like this is your overall energy. Here you are coming in, delivering the bad news here. I, I just kind of feel like this is kind of gonna rock this one over here. I feel like it's gonna really rock their world. It's the best way I can kind of describe what it is that I'm seeing here. But here you are coming in, delivering the bad news. I do feel like you're the queen of cups in all of this. Tell me more about this tower. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ooh, true pair situation here. We have the king and the queen of cups. See, I knew you were the queen of cups in all of this. You're delivering the bad news here. And it's almost in a sense where they just kind of felt all of this coming like at first it's like they kind of felt like uh something's just not right so they're automatically like assuming that maybe they're maybe maybe pisces is seeing somebody else you know it could just be that simple but it's kind of like here you are kind of coming in and, and and you're dropping this big ass bomb on them and it's it's very heartbreaking it's very heartbreaking it is it definitely is. The pain is definitely being felt. But Page of Swords or Three of Swords, they just, they just, they just knew. They just, they just knew something just wasn't right here. Again, you know, a lot of them think that it's like a third party situation going on here, but it's not. Um, it's definitely not a third party situation here. How does Pisces currently feel? We have the Hair of Fonts. We also have the Ace of Pentacles. And then we also have the King of Wands. At the bottom of the... Okay. All right. You just kind of threw a whole curveball at me. Okay. Mm. Who is this, Pisces? You care to, to share that information with us? I want to look at this king of wands because i don't feel like this king of wands is this king of cups i really don't i really really don't now i'm not gonna sit here and say that this is a third party situation just because of the way the cards are coming out and the way things are playing out it kind of looks like basically what we're seeing here is that here you are coming in initiate an ending here between you and this king of cups of yours now granted this person does kind of slightly suspect that maybe there's another person involved in all of this and that's why you're choosing to kind of end things with them I don't necessarily feel like that's the case. Um, I do see somebody new entering your life, wanting a, wanting a commitment with you shortly after this ending takes place here between you and this person. Let's look at this King of Wands. I want to see who this King of Wands is. Let, let's entertain that real quick. Tell me more about this King of Wands. Whoever this King of Wands is, whoever they are, whoever they are, right? This is somebody who knows that you recently got out of a relationship here. They know that you recently got out of a relationship. I don't know how this person knows this, but they, they know that you recently got out of a relationship. So like for perfect example, like Facebook, right? I, I think that's still a thing. I'm not sure because Lord knows I haven't been on Facebook since I was like 15 years old and I'm 29. Um, Facebook has like this option where like you can pick and choose like when you're in a relationship or not. So maybe that's how this person's finding out because you're changing all of that, right? Or, or, you know, let's say for example, you guys have like pictures of each other on, you know, social media. You could very well be removing their pictures on your social media platform. And then this King of Wands is like, oh, well, that's interesting. Pisces just removed you know, the, the pictures that, you know, they, they shared with this person on social media. That's interesting. Hmm, that must, that must be that they just recently broke up. You know, it kind of has that, that feel to it. Whoever this human is, they're, they're finding out that 
you just got out of a relationship. This still feels fresh. That's the thing. It's like this King of Wands is not freaking wasting any time. It's like the moment they find out, however they find out, I already gave a few examples, all right? However they're finding out about this ending here, it's like they're not wasting any time. It's like they're busting their move in your direction. And again, like I said, I mean, this is somebody who's who wants a commitment with you. Okay, let's keep going. Let's see what else we get. Hmm. Hi, what actions? Hmm. Hmm. We have the Seven of Pentacles. We also have the Page of Wands. And then we also have the Nine of Swords. Page of Wands represents somebody who's on the receiving end of some sort of news slash communication. I feel like it's it's coming from this King of Cups, though. I feel like it's coming from this King of Cups here. This, whatever it is that this King of Cups is telling you, it, it's really causing you to, like, really second guess what you're doing here, Pisces, is the best way I can kind of describe what it is that I'm seeing here. Let's look at the King of Cups. Let's see what comes out uh, for them. Yeah, but King of Wands is not wasting any freaking time. It's like, oh, Pisces is not with the King of Cups anymore. Let me go, let me go talk to them. What actions? Mm. We have the Chariot. We also have the Strength card. Then we have the Lovers. And then we have the Empress. Oh, I'm not shocked. I'm not shocked. True pair situation here between you and this person again. Again, you know, someone else had the same freaking message, man. I just wish I knew who it was. This is kind of like the true epitome of like somebody, how do I say this? Somebody kind of coming in and reminding you of like the connection you guys share with one another is kind of what it feels like. Now, one can say that this person's love bombing you. I just said this in somebody's reading. I just honestly, to God, I don't remember who it was. But this is, yeah, this is like somebody reminding you of the connection that you guys share with one another and how rare it is. Which is causing you to second guess yourself. To second guess yourself. Tell me more about the Page of Wands. Nothing wanted to come out, but look at who decided to show up. The Queen of Cups. Yeah, see, thing is, Pisces, is that, you know, I, I kind of feel like this person's going to have you really kind of second guessing yourself just a little bit. And it's weird because I keep wanting to say they're they're reminding you. They're reminding you of the, the connection that you guys basically share with one another and how rare it is. Which is causing you to do a whole lot of reflecting. And it's causing you in a way to kind of second guess yourself at the same exact time. I mean, it's pretty obvious that this is somebody that you have a lot of love for. This is somebody that you care for deeply. Um... But yeah, I gotta be honest, I don't feel like the King of Wands has a chance in hell with you. That's a, that's a whole nother thing that I wanted to kind of throw out there, but I, I, I didn't get around to saying that. I don't feel like this King of Wands has a chance with you. They're gonna try. That's kind of besides the point. They're gonna try to like, you know, bust their move here, but I just don't see them getting absolutely anywhere with you, to be completely honest. Um, I, I honestly don't feel like you even feel like entertaining absolutely anybody after all of this. Any advice for Pisces? More of the story is, is that whatever it is that this King of Cups is telling you, it's going to have you in your feels. It's going to have you second guessing yourself. That's one thing that I will say. Now, it's hard to determine whether or not you're going to see this ending through or not. Um, the decision is entirely up to you. But we have uh, give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership, and then we also have deception. Deception is very similar to like the uh, Five of Swords and Tarot. So all of this could very well be sparking between you and this person because of a big fight, argument, and or disagreement. Of course, deception could have also kind of went down here within this dynamic here between you and this person. It's encouraging you to try to work things out with this person, but at the end of the day, Free will, do what you feel as though is best. 
um, in this entire situation that you currently find yourself in. But King of Wands, I just don't feel like the King of Wands has a chance with you, to be completely honest. I just don't. Can you tell me more about the King of Wands? Whoever this King of Wands is, this could definitely be like a close friend, possibly. Mm. They're finding out about this ending here between you and this person. They're definitely finding out about this. And like I said, it's like this one over here, they're not wasting their time when it comes down to making, you know, their move here. They're not wasting any time. They're not. Yeah, I don't know who this person is, but this is obviously somebody who knows you, Pisces. Um, have, it, have you spoke to them before? Mm, let me see. Tell me more about the Three of Cups. It's, it's hard to tell. Like, it's, it's so hard to tell. Like, for some of you, you know who this person is. For others of you, you don't. And you're just kind of, like, meeting this person after this ending here. But, yeah. It's, it's kind of like the epitome of somebody liking what they see and they're going after and they're not wasting any time. And you just got, and you're single on top of that? Like, they're not wasting any time. They are not wasting any time. They are not wasting any time here. They're just not. They're not. It's almost in a sense, Pisces, where this king of wands kind of looks at you like you have everything that they could possibly want within a person and then some. And then some. They're not wasting any time. They're not wasting any time when it comes down to making their move in your direction. They're not. They're not. And somehow, some way, they're finding that they're finding out that you just recently got out of a relationship here. Now, keep in mind. For some of you, you know who this person is. For others of you, you don't. Um, if this is like a fairly new person that you're crossing paths with, you you probably might tell this person that you just recently got out of a relationship. Uh, you might even vent to this person in particular. But like I said, it's like this one over here, this King of Wands, it's like they like what they see and they're going after it because... You have everything that they want within a person and then some. So they're not going to sit here and waste any time. But I got to be honest, I don't see this King of Wands really getting anywhere with you because we got this one over here that's still trying. I'll say that. Still trying. Um, so yeah, it's, it's encouraging you to give this relationship a chance, Pisces, and try to move past whatever the heck happened here between you and this person, but this is, the, the decision is entirely up to you. So that's what I have for you, Pisces. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. Also, too, for those of you who want to follow me on Instagram, it is linked in the description box down below. Good luck to the both of you moving forward, and I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.